Good day, everybody. I'm going to be finishing my uh, rain barrel. I actually knew how to say it this time. Not just my rain thingy, but yeah. My rainwater collector barrel. So, show you what I got going on here. Um, found this on the internet for my spigot. Um, and this thing. I figured there's probably got to be something that I can find. And sure enough, I found this on the internet. And it makes so you get some water, but not the whole spout. So basically it diverts uh, a small amount of water, I believe. Maybe I'm not looking at this right. Let's open it. That way I'm not lying. So yeah, the way it looks, um, you do that. Because what what happens when you put water, or when the water goes down the gutter, is it tends to run down the sides, not just fall straight down through the middle. So it, it tends to run down the sides rather than, yeah, just straight down the middle. So you get uh, some water, and then if it can't handle, if that little spout, uh, that little spout there, if that can't handle all of it, um, then it can go down the rest of the downspout so one thing I got to do is uh, clean out my rain barrel it's been sitting for like two weeks now two three weeks something like that and I haven't done anything with it so I'm guessing there's some dirt in there some of our patio stuff set up got that and it is currently oh about Somewhere in the 70 degrees, fair to high. So it's feeling pretty good. Anyways, we got everything mulched around the house, and then here about couple, uh, maybe the first week in May or uh, mid May somewhere, we'll be planting flowers. So I'll show you my nice little bird area. <laughs> uh, we got some weird uh, birdhouse going on, and then uh, my bird feeders and then I'm going to add a bird feeder and then I'll probably add another bird house just because there's so many uh, different birds that want to nest in here for some reason. Keeps them off the house. So I got one on the deck and every year the same two bluebirds come and lay eggs and hatch their little ones and we get more. So I don't know if it's the same ones or if it's the little babies that hatch that come back. So I don't know. <laughs> there's always two bluebirds that come and and one kind of guards and the other one is I'm guessing the female you know goes in there and makes the nest you can tell them apart by their color the you know, males are usually like a nice bright color and the females are a little bit dimmer so I don't know it's kind of fun having you know a couple birds around you get to watch them and uh, right there's my my bluebird house and then back there I just put that in so we'll figure out uh, what that becomes so earlier on my bird feeder, I seen a bird on there and it looked like a parrot. I don't think it was a parrot, but it was a bird that looks like a parrot. So I'll have to look that bird up. It looked familiar, like I've seen it before in a bird bulk or, you know, somewhere around, probably at the zoo because it probably is a parrot. But anyways, <sighs> I'll figure out what it was. Well, I guess maybe we should get to it. There's a little bit of water in there and some dirt. I'll make sure to wash that out just in case I get the notion to uh, drink some of this water. Let's get to it.
some new hose. Wolves wanted to get one. Finally got one. We're gonna see how it works. This thing's supposed to stretch 100 feet. So we're gonna see if that's true. But the way it looks, it looks like this thing's about ready to explode. The way it's filling up, it said expands. <laughs> so I'm not too sure. So far it's not a terrible hose because once the water goes out of it, supposed to uh, yeah I got a knot but that's okay because I'm just right over there found these nice rocks in the woods got this little setup gotta renew my fountain bucket because it's full of holes and I flex sealed it And it didn't work, but I have another bucket, an old coal bucket, so that's gonna be nice. Mmm, perfect. So first step, drill a hole. Drill a hole. Next step, take my downspout, cut a section out of it, might just have to cut it where it's at, I was hoping I could take it off and cut it, I'll try to cut it right where it's at, maybe I won't even cut it, maybe I'll just take it off, pull it up. That's what I'll do. hose is actually pretty cool so when you turn the water off and you go to release all the pressure it'll squeeze all the water out the end and the thing will be empty <laughs> that's freaking there you might be able to see it moving It's empty. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I didn't know it does that, but now that I know that, I'll probably be getting more of those. Um, I know a place I can get them for like half price. So those are some pretty good hoses. 
Um, obviously, you don't want to drive over them when they're full because you're probably going to pop them. But for like just garden use like this, they're not terrible. Anyways, let me show you. Um, So, I mean, looks a little hillbilly, but it's gonna work for what I need. Um, the barrel will probably last for a while yet, maybe not the sheet, but I'll have to change that thing out a couple times. The fur. Got a birdie in my bird house. Scared the snot basket out of me when <laughs> it jumped up. Oh, I jumped like crazy. I was expecting it, but for some reason not expecting it at the same time. But anyways, here's my little creations. They hide a whole huge. Put my garden stuff away and Now I'm in my little uh, corner here where I want to put some bird feeder, another bird feeder, maybe a couple bird houses. Um, maybe put one up in there. My woodpecker tree. Maybe put a few bird houses up in there. Just here and there around the property. So. This tree is blooming over here. That tree actually blooms half pink and half white, which is incredible. But anyways, so this tree here, I'm going to uh, put a birdhouse or uh, watch my color on there. Uh, bird feeder. You got her. <laughs> a little befuddled. But first I gotta paint it. Um, just because it's kind of rusty. Like myself. this thing like a tree stand if anybody knows how a tree stand is hung you will know pretty soon